I've covered the rarest skins forever and the rarest emotes forever, but what about everything else like pickaxes, gliders, and random stuff? Well, we're gonna cover all of that, so make sure you guys drop a like if you enjoy. And to start it off straight away with pickaxes, we all know the FNCS one is the rarest, although technically you couldn't have even bought it. So the second rarest goes to the Raiders Revenge, which was available to the public. But you guys all know how rare this is, so let's just move on to something else. For example, the Plasma Carrot. This is from Chapter 2 Season 6, and it was part of a reboot of friend challenges. And honestly, it wasn't easy to actually find someone to do these challenges with you. In fact, even me and a bunch of people I know, we don't own this pickaxe. Which just goes to prove how rare it actually is. And then for some other rare ones, we have Pinpointer from Double Helix, the Stellar Axe from the Samsung Galaxy Bundle, Dark Razor from the Dark Vertex Bundle, and of course, the Stealth Angular Axe from the Stealth Reflex Bundle. I already know people are going to be asking me, but what about the Merry Mint Axe? And to be honest with you guys, that isn't honestly that rare. Codes were super easy and cheap to get for this pickaxe. In fact, it's actually one of the most used axes in Fortnite, which kind of proves that it's actually not rare. But it is exclusive and it is pretty cool to have in the locker. And then of course, the twin talents from another Reboot a Friend challenge. But what's unique about these is that they belong with the Indigo Kuno skin and only 6,000 people have this skin. I didn't mention it in the Rare Skins Forever video because we don't know if Indigo Kuno is actually going to come back or not. Probably 90% of the Fortnite population don't even know this skin exists. Or they just think it's a PlayStation Plus skin, which it's not. It's a PlayStation Cup skin. But you never know. They might bring it out in the future with a controller bundle or a PS5 bundle. Who knows? But comment down below if you would actually buy it anyway. Next up, we have the Naboo Lake wrap from Chapter 2 Season 4. Now, you might be thinking, Ash, it's just a wrap. It's nothing special. But what you probably don't know about this is that it's from a secret Twitch drop. Again, even I don't have it and a lot of people who collect don't have it. It's a very rare wrap and it was only available to get for a few hours, so not many people have this. And I must say, it's probably one of the cleanest wraps in the game. It looks like the Galaxy skin kind of vibes, and there has been a new wrap release called the Cosmos, but this one is just so clean. So if you watch Twitch, you might have this wrap. Go check your locker. And while we're on the topic of wraps, I may as well quickly mention the Radiant Blue. Another super nice wrap, but this one is from a PlayStation Plus pack. But what's different about this pack compared to other PlayStation packs is that this one didn't come with a skin. I believe it was just a wrap, a emoticon, and glider or something like that. So because there wasn't a skin involved in this pack, not many people tried to get it, which is why less people own it, making it a rare wrap. Everything else in that pack is just as rare. Next up we have gliders and it's pretty obvious the rarest glider in the game goes to the Aerial Assault 1 which was available in the Season 1 Season Shop with Renegade Raider, Aerial Assault Trooper and Raider's Revenge. Although it was only a 500 V-Book glider at the time, I feel like this is probably the rarest item from the Season Shop. I know a lot of people who have the OG skins and Raider's Revenge but the glider is just one of those things you never ever see. And no, I haven't forgot about the Mako Glider, but to be honest, that was free. So a lot of people, a lot of OGs do actually have it. And who knows, maybe the Mako might return one day, but the Aerial Assault Trooper is never going to make a return. Another glider we have is the Blue Streak from Chapter 1 Season 2. This was in the same pack as the Blue Team Leader, and it was the first ever PlayStation exclusive glider. It's very simple, very clean, and honestly, it's something good to have in the collection. But there is another PlayStation glider, which is kind of rare as well. It's called Flappy from Chapter 1 Season 5. This is just a remake of the Googly Glider, but a PlayStation version. And honestly, this is a glider I just never see anybody using or speaking about. I mean, my favorite color is blue, so I'm kind of biased as it's blue. But if you play on PlayStation, let me know if you have the Flappy Glider or also the Blue Streak. And of course, there's a bunch of rare item shop gliders like Stealth, Raptor, and other ones. But they're all item shops, so they're not going to be the rarest items forever as they are going to make a return one day. Now, when the whole Mr. Beast event happened, there was actually a secret item that released. It was a spray, and no, I'm not talking about the Mr. Beast gaming spray with his logo on it. I'm talking about the Honk spray. This was literally only available for a couple of hours, and you had to get it by watching Carl's stream. He was live streaming playing the Mr. Beast map. 
and the Twitch drop was enabled, but the only person you could watch to get it was Carl. You couldn't watch any other streamer. So if you missed out on Carl's stream, that means you don't have the spray. And to be honest, it's actually rarer than people think. I would say less than 20,000 people actually own this. So, you know, it's a very rare spray. I don't know the exact amount of people who have it, but it's less than 20,000 for sure. So let me know if you managed to get it. There is also a very rare special music pack called Four Nightmares 2020 from Chapter 2 Season 4. This was last seen over 800 days ago and it's probably never going to make a return as it was called Four Nightmares 2020. But what's crazy about this is that it was only in the item shop for one day and that is literally year. So if you wasn't online this day or you didn't buy it, there was no other chance to get it. So genuinely, it's a really rare item which nobody really knows about. Definitely cool to have in the locker, but still, it's just a music pack, so nothing too crazy. Now, you might be wondering, but what is the actual rarest item to exist in the game? Like, all of these are rare, but what's the number one rarest thing? I've already spoke about it before, but people don't believe me. However, it goes to the cameo needs loot emoji. Yes, it might just be an emoji, but only 15 players have this. Like, that's literally how rare it is. 15 people is crazy. There is also many other rare emojis like Wet and Weepy, What, What's Wrong with Tuna Fish, and even the Peely Parade. These are all stream elements emoticons. And if you don't know what stream elements is, it's a platform you can use for streaming. And in order to get these emojis, you had to do certain tasks, and not many people did them, which is why they're so rare. But I've got a feeling they're probably gonna return in the future so more people can get them. For another wrap, we have Goo Buddies. Again, this is from Stream Elements, but this one, you had to get a code in order to get the wrap. Luckily, myself, I do own this, and it's probably one of my favorite wraps. It's super clean. And by the way, guys, if I ever give away codes for wraps or anything like that, it's always going to be on my Instagram or Twitter. So make sure you follow me on both of them. Link in description. But I want to talk about an emo people have been asking me about recently, and it's actually Pele's air punch. Recently, Pele did pass away, so rest in peace to him. He's one of the football goats. And of course, with the Pele's air punch being in Fortnite, a lot of people don't know if it's ever going to make a return. And honestly, this is a question I guess nobody knows. Fortnite themselves, they probably don't even know what to do with this emo right now. So who knows? But yeah, rest in peace, Pele. And let me know if you have the emo. For another pickaxe, we have the Destroyer. In order to get this one, you had to log into GeForce Now. And that is it. All you had to do was log into GeForce Now and you would have been given this pickaxe. It was available to get for around two weeks and it was free, so it's not that rare. However, a lot of people didn't bother logging into GeForce now because I guess there's no need to unless you wanted to get the pickaxe. I actually don't have this one. I'm not a huge fan of it, so I just passed. But I mean, it's not a bad thing to have in the collection as it was free. And while I'm on the topic of free items, a lot of people always ask me, is the Rust Bucket Bat Bling rare? And I'm gonna have to say no to this one. It was in the item shop for a week and it was literally free, like zero V-Bucks. And during that week, Fortnite probably had millions of people log on and claim the Bat Bling. So no, it's not rare, but you don't really see people using it nowadays because most people don't even wear Bat Blings. However, if you do have it, it does prove that you're kind of OG. So I guess it is good to have in the collection. There is so many other rare things in the game, like these sprays right here. But comment down below what you think should be in part two. So those were some of the rarest items within Fortnite. If you want to know the rarest skins or emotes, check out one of these videos on screen right here.